declassified footage and trends uh, for discussion. Next slide, please. This is an example of one that I showed at the hearing recently. Uh, this is a spherical orb, metallic, in the Middle East, 2020. And I'd like to turn to a brief presentation that includes some recently. I'm going to let this play through. This is a newly released uh, video. You'll notice there are two dots moving back and forth. There is a plane at the bottom that's moving across the screen. And now there are three dots moving back and forth. The moving back and forth is from the sensor and the plat Apart from that motion, and you'll see Aparte de ese movimiento y verán un poco de desenfoque del sensor en sí, no hay ninguna otra rareza en esto, excepto por el hecho de que no pudieron atraparlos. La razón por la que no pudieron atraparlos es porque después de un análisis más detallado, se demostró que esos objetos estaban en realidad mucho más lejos del P3 de lo que pensaban. Y de hecho, cuando profundizamos aún más, observamos los datos de control de tráfico aéreo. Pudimos emparejarlos con aeronaves en un corredor de vuelo importante, dirigiéndose a un aeropuerto importante para aterrizar. Demonstrated no enigmatic technical capabilities and was no threat to airborne safety. While we are still looking at it, I don't have any more data other than that. And so being able to come to some conclusion is going to take time. Apart from that motion, and you'll see a little bit of uh, defocusing from the sensor itself, uh, there is no other oddity about this, except for the fact that they couldn't catch them. The reason they couldn't catch them is be, right, and this was reported as an odd grouping of three UAP. Right. That is not to say that the pilots didn't know what they were looking at, or they, they knew what they were looking at, but they weren't really sure. But it also 